Why can't I go to that tile? Is someone standing there? Is there a submarine there? Oh yeah, the Bolshoi. Um, we can get the uh, musician ready to go. Um, excellent point. It's not built yet. One more turn. One more turn for someone to beat me. Hey! Alright, fishery spam. Have negative oil pressure and no, uh, vodka sauce? We have Victor that's never been assigned to anything, so. Oh, yeah. Listen, I accept all your gifts. 290 turns. Bolshoi Ballet is a universe of the imagination. So, we Space actually gained, not just a boost, but we flat out gained two free civics when we completed. With graceful dances, Huge, and it's got tons of space for works of art. Hmm. Your society emulate. Look at that. Russia appreciates me building the Bolshoi. If you can walk away from a it has and we get flight that no ideology is done inhuman can more of a silly space industrial ideology. and this and that actually that's pretty good I don't know if we're building any wonders right now oh well the Eiffel Tower so I guess we keep that um I think rather than rationalism I think it would be a little bit better to have the because we do have huge adjacency bonuses um Campus and industrial zone adjacency bonus because we have some pretty good adjacency bonuses on the industrial zones as well. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes, close this. Don't make any changes. I forgot that we'd taken the um, the upgrade policy. Hang on. That's everyone. I mean, the Caravel could be upgraded to an Ironclad, but it's probably in the middle of nowhere doing exploration things, which is fine. Okay. Let's change. Drop that. Sci this would give us a little more science. I mean, the money savings is good, too. Our money is good right now because people are trading. I guess short term, at the very least, we'll take the military research. Yes. So we have 180. Oh, and rationalism is flipping for five year plan. Only 182. Oh, that was not as much of a win. I think the five year plan did hurt our science a little, but he's giving us a production boost, so it's okay. Our synagogue got hit by the volcano again, I think. Um, amphitheater purchased. Uh, we're going to go for art museums now. Although, we will still be able to dig up more things when we get see. No, art museum for now is going to be fine. Okay. And build me a spy, please. Thank you. Yeah, you can run bread and circuses, but... I mean, maybe if everything simultaneously doing it. But it's what, minus two? Plus one pressure affects other cities. 10% less less affected per tile. So it really does fall off. So, yeah. So Ferris wheels and things like that. We've got the tourism going on. Music! Nice. And yeah, we have tons of room for art. art. Some writing as well. Um, oh, you have music stored there. Or wait. Oh, the Bolshoi, right, is kind of um, an oddball one. Alcazar and plus three science from that site. Nice. Let's make sure to 
Deploy Brussels and vodka sauce. Just make sure you're stable. Uh, you're going to remove the improvement and then start bulldozing. And we don't want to build a fishery here because that's going to be a... Uh, yeah, we are overkilling our golden age again. And we're very far to the next era starting. It'll make it hard to keep a golden age going through the, the uh, information age, unfortunately. Oh, I guess there was someone here. We are currently kind of out of tiles to improve until we develop some tech, but that's okay. Let's we'll have the builders sit idle for a bit. Old quill like arms, just look at the new camera setup. Hmm? Ooh. Nobel Prize in Physics. So we got second place. So we got a tech boost and some researchers and things. And, and we can get uh, Franz von Hipper, get a free battleship. You know what? Sure, we skipped the last one. We'll grab that one. Free battleship's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm going to replace the uh, Alcazar over here. It's like there's some cool stuff, but it's not really self-sustaining. You're going to start your harbor right over there. Plus four gold harbor. Very nice. Um, now, where do we want the battleship? Because right now we have no ability to cross this continent. It's dividing the world from pole to pole. We can teleport this guy and, and things to different seas. I do actually think I want him on this side. We don't have as much of a navy here. We're not friends with Russia. Yeah, I'm going to go and pop you. Also grants a coal per turn. There you go. Our battleship with a promotion. Um, we're going to make sure we're good at naval combat first. Ada, we don't need you to deploy anywhere yet. And yeah. These uh, builders are going to have lots to do once we get solar panels. Um, I guess we need one military engineer, too. Can we purchase that? I don't think so. Ah, yes, it can be purchased, but we need an encampment. So let's do that, because we have railroad, right? And yeah, I don't think we were in a position... Oh, you're doing the thing where I can't space bar you for some reason. I don't think we can create a canal. We're like trying to do math. There was a, there's like one way we could do it depending on where a city was, but then the city wouldn't be optionally, optimally placed. Um. Yes. Harvest. It's gonna boost you, although you're gonna start shrinking. Um. And then you can still chop, which is gonna be okay. Yeah, well, we're being greedy, which is why we're not building an arsenal right now. That's really what it comes down to, is pure greed for other things. Like, we should build a big navy. Um, we want to have more artists. We actually have lots of slots for that. Uh, I don't know. People are going to vote for duplicates of whales, because there's a lot of whales in this map. Um, why is it, on this screen... You can't see how many votes, diplomatic victory votes, people have. That is kind of annoying. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to vote down the Incas here. Uh, we're on the World's Fair. I'm going to spend a, a fair amount here. If people vote to give themselves points, we'll get this whole thing refunded. Or if they vote to take it away from someone else, we'll get half the points refunded. We don't really need the votes for things. So we're going to do with that, because he's currently in the lead. We're going to check to see what kind of canal things might be available. Now that we've unlocked the tech, maybe there was something we couldn't see. But it was really wonky. Um, Christina, 18, voted to give herself some Diplo points. Okay. So yeah, we got the refund. Uh, Great General. Man. Tobacco. Man. All right. World's Fair is running. So... 
compete who can get the highest score generated by great people points per turn which we do generate a lot of so we might be in a good position for that do i want to send the trader out to brussels by the snow it might shave one more turn off the eiffel tower alternatively it might be nice to grow brussels and curry sauce by having a trader out come out of here I guess I will send this trader to Brussels by the Snow. If we shave one turn off the Eiffel Tower, it might make a difference. I mean, we have good vision. For all I know, someone's building it somewhere, and we can see an exact number of turns that we're going to get beaten by. But I'm just going to park the battleship in Brussels. Oh, that is... And... Oh. No tech to steal. We can neutralize the governor. Um, I might since I'm here. Harvest the rainforest. Shamanism turns off the spy. It's going to be your last charge. That's okay. Move up the coast from a city, so like 4 max. Has to be on flat land. I don't know, maybe... No, I don't know. Cleared land for the Sydney Opera House. So they're starting on the Sydney Opera House, which we don't have unlocked yet. Hmm. Failed. Nanmadal. That's bonus culture. There we go. If we do that, we have suzerainship. Um, let's put a point in Babylon. We'd like to get some extra science from our universities. So for production, I I think I still have a spy in your territory. I'm going to say I can't promise you that. Sorry. So yeah, you're not going to build anything here because that's where we're going to put our neighborhood. Um, I can work the fish and the crabs, but they're not luxury sources, and no city can actually take advantage of them. So there's not really any point in doing that. And all it might do is, like, just sort of vaguely park over here and wait for solar panels and things to be discovered. Two possible canal locations south of Pell, and one of the bananas by Brussels on the Sea. No, this is a hill. That's the problem. We can't, and I don't think we can build canals on hills. I know, you can't, it's impossible to see freaking hills in a, what would let us build a Panama Canal? Hold on. If it would do this, it would connect these two. We can Panama Canal across here. Right? Upon completion, one or two adjacent canal districts are automatically constructed. Yeah, see, if we try to build a canal, you can't, you can't build one here. But I can build a Panama Canal. And it's, presumably, it's going to canal here and here. Is that going to trash my coffee? But it's super worthwhile doing it, right? Interestingly enough, I can't build it in Brussels on the Rock. Oh, probably because it doesn't own the tile. No, it'll go diagonal. What do you mean diagonal? No, it's prob so it's probably tile ownership. Just out of curiosity, is there anywhere else where the Panama Canal is lit? No. I think it might take the cow. Oh, you know, F, F it, doesn't matter. We're going to put the neighborhood on hold. There it is. Choo -choo -choo. That is going to be pretty huge, potentially, if there is warfare. I don't care. Takes out the rocks. Um, now the rocks are still here right now, and are the so are the cows. Can I harvest them? Because I'm assuming it will destroy them once the canal is done.
What happens if you're beaten canal? Well, right now, only the center tile here is the Panama Canal. It instantly uh, ate those. I'm assuming when this finishes, then these two tiles will be consumed. Right now, if we get beaten, uh, this will just disappear, and it's just the middle part that will be a dead tile. Yeah, we can't boost production, unfortunately, here. Other than have trade routes coming out of this, which we're going to want to do. I guess the only thing we can build here is a farm, really. Well, I guess we'll build a farm, then. And you're still there with the charge? Nope, you've got consumed. So, we do have you. We're just sitting around. Your job's going to be to come over here. Pentacon is hard to build. I doubt the AI is smart enough to build it. Well, I mean, it'll just try, like, you know, just like me. It's hard for me to figure out where I can legally place the Panama Canal, but if I just cycle between the cities, it'll find me a spot. And the AI will do the same thing. Oh, I can build it here? So uh, Sometimes they built it in a place where it doesn't do anything for them. It's whiskey and chocolate. Heavy industry. It's whiskey and chocolate from Hook. Oh, we're going over time here. Hey, Hook, thank you very much. Uh, refresh, refresh, refresh. Hey, Quill, love your content, especially Civ streams. Keep up the great work. What do you think about aquatic cities for Civ uh, Beyond Earth? Do you think they should make comeback for Civ 6 since the latest expansion deals with global warming? Um, I've liked aquatic cities since um, Alpha Centauri's... Um, um, Alien Crossfire expansion, uh, which I think added them, and they were quite, quite cool. I thought that was neat, and they certainly fit the Beyond Earth theme as well. I don't think they're appropriate in Civ uh, because the time scale isn't quite right for true aquatic cities. And we do have some aquatic things going on with various dams. It'd be nice to have, like, more land reclamation things, although I guess that's the, uh, that's the Dutch thing. Uh, hold on, why can't I build a shopping center? I must need a separate tech for that. Because I like building shopping centers when I build a neighborhood because it gives you food. Although the shopping malls do give you tourism. Which is pretty good. The aquarium doesn't give us tourism, it just spreads amenities. Which is good for keeping people happy. Yeah, seasteads are like aquatic cities, that's a good point. So not a true city that you place, but, you know, little ones. They're like suburbs in the sea. We got zones we can build. I think, let's build the aquarium. Uh, sorry, let's build a shopping mall. Plus four tourism. I don't know if you need power for that to be running. I think you do. So we might be hurting a little bit right now because we're not really producing power. Uh, trade routes here. No, let's move you to Brussels by the sea so that you can trade route harder or build. You can, you can canal harder. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here because there's nothing big that's about to happen. Like, we're not on the cusp of finishing this wonder. And if we just keep going, then we'll just get close to things, and it'll start to become more and more awkward to end. Um, this is a pretty good spot, actually. Overall, I'm still liking where we are. Science, um, our rate, I mean, our science has gone up a little bit, and we're still, we're third. We're, you know, close to Inca, fairly far behind India. Uh, Culture-wise, we are... Still keeping pace where we're fairly far ahead from a lot of people, but slightly behind Christina, which is annoying. Um, diplomacy. See, Inca's got 11 now, which is a little scary. Religion's still fine. Still no domination stuff going on. Christina is packing in the tourism and actually scaling up pretty fast here. We may actually have to do a little bit of something, something with Christina at some point. Um, she's in a golden age right now, which is part of... Oh, no, she's in a normal age. Damn. Normal age, we can't flip anything. I mean, you flipped Brussels and vodka sauce. That was something, I guess, but... Not enough. Can we foment unrest in city-states? Oh, hi, the Offworld Tower. Nine turns away. Yeah. So not that close, either. Ask... <laughs> Do not go to Twitch chat for answers, for they will say yet both yes and no. Literally. Can you ferment unrest here? Yes and no. I don't... I feel like you can't. All you can do is um, try to do the spot, spy stuff to flip some things. This is the governor she has there. Well, we do have someone trying to kick this governor out. Um... I don't remember if we also have Imani. The thing is, well, we have a lot of information. Can we... 
can we could we get actual loyalty numbers over here? I don't think we can. All we know it's fully loyal, that's it. Yeah, more uh, not reduce loyalty. Yeah, reduce AI on, on things. Hmm. I don't know much about Stadia, and I don't know enough to talk about it. Also annoyed that things are fairly stable here. Need more great works, I guess. Um, is there a loyalty map mode? Oh, yeah. But does it have numbers? It shows influence. Is there a tooltip that comes up with info? No. And it doesn't show numbers. The thing is, Sweden's got a lot of cities very, very tightly clustered. Tooltip on the up arrow? It just says fully loyal. Click the bar for numbers. Oh, this bar here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, again, it doesn't show us the rate. Like, it, it shows us it as 100%, which is fine. But what we need to know is the delta. Is it generating... Here, because it does give you a preview of full loyalty. So theoretically, this means they're generating an excess. They're generating at least five loyalty per turn. Positive. I guess if we do a, a lower loyalty mission... Um, and drop it down by 20, then we can get an info there. But yeah, like, that's the thing. I want to know if, like, this city is, like, plus one loyal or plus 15 loyal. Oh, well, for fuck's sakes. Thank you. There you go. Like that. Plus 24 is huge. Even, even getting rid... Ugh, no, I don't want to click on that. Even getting rid of the, uh... Yeah, this is new. I did not know this was a thing. Even getting rid of the, um... Uh, governors, nothing's gonna happen here. This would have saved us a lot of effort, actually. Granada, 27, really? 7.2, theoretically attackable. Barely here. Oh, no! Wrong bar. I guess there's just an expand everything button. You're fixed? No, you're... Okay, this one's obviously capped out, and it's at plus 38. This one's also obviously capped out. It's at zero... But, I mean, I'm not a math expert, but I feel like zero is wrong. They've got the Statue of Liberty, they can't lose loyalty, so it's just fixed at zero? Okay. So it's not actually showing the number, and yeah, he beat me to the statue there. So no matter what, we can't loyalty that place. So it's just weird. We don't have a cultural alliance with him. Or do I? No, I have a cultural alliance. Yeah, see, no. I have a cultural alliance um, with uh, with India over here. Which is probably good, because there might be some risk to that city over there, depending on how things go. Yeah, it looks like the, the culture flipping game is not in the cards for us. I mean, maybe there's something... I don't know. If we aggressively place two cities over here and use traders to boost them up a little bit, then maybe, but not really. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do to convert any of these cities. And flip it with rock bands. I guess there is some rock bandy kind of stuff. But in practice, I think what we have to do is focus on the tourism game. And um, maybe nuke Sweden? Yeah, convert the cities to some ships. And that's it. Uh, the thing is, dr f grabbing a couple of cities militaristically could cause massive snowballs in loyalty. But we'll see. And so that's also with the math, like the uh, the loyalty boosting. If our cities get big and then we run bread and circuses, we might be able to start doing some stuff. We'll see. But we got to put a cut in here for now. We'll do that. Presumably a Kiss for Luck is streaming. We're going to go ahead and raid her. Uh, no. Oh, sorry. I'm getting it wrong. I get my days confused. It's Briarstone's day to stream. Briarstone, he's probably doing Kingdom Come Deliverance. I gotta play this game. Every time I watch it, it's just crazy. Uh, slash raid. We're gonna raid Briarstone. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we start a brand new game of Age of Wonders, Planetfall, with the new expansion. We're gonna be streaming that tomorrow, Thursday. Also Friday. Also Saturday. It's gonna be a sponsored stream, but I'm pretty excited about it. See you there. 
Alliance don't circumvent loyalty, only the cultural alliance uh, prevents loyalty issues. The other alliances don't have that effect. Whatever's good enough. Shall gather. More shall enter. 